Hey everyone, I'm going to cover a quick application I wrote that is to, is to help work with the Caswell Plating Electrolyst Nickel Baths. If you've read the information about the Caswell Plating Bath and you have the manual, it's a little daunting at first to look at all the calculations that need to be done in order to keep a good track of, of how many credits your bath is used. Uh, to, in order to keep your bath in a usable state longer, I've come up with this application to essentially help get more out of the bath that you can run. In order to keep it running longer and better and more efficiently, you're going to need to keep a little bit better numbers. And to do that, it's almost impossible to do it by hand, so this is a much easier method to do it. So what I did was initially started with a way to mix up the bath the first time, to come up with a way to do it. And this top section here is what I first started with. This is what I, my whole idea came from, is I wanted to know how many pints I had in the container, how many I needed, and what the mixture was going to be. So the very first one, you can simply fill in one of these fields and it comes up with a total. So if you, want, if you knew you wanted 60 ounces, then you just fill in 60 and it will tell you how many you need for the rest. If you knew you only had, say, 10 ounces of part B, then you can switch that and it tells you how much you're going to need to fill everything else in. Very simplistic. So the next section was to figure out on a tank size. The 10375 is the generic size that I got with the, the Caswell Plating Deluxe Kit. This tank is a basic, it's the Robin's Egg ceramic coated uh, pot. And with the baths, I wanted to know approximately how many pints of fluid I had, how many credits were going to be in it, and what my replenish point was going to be, and what my max load was going to be at either one of the settings. Now I calculate the square inches based on the current credit count rather than just the max load. This is coming from somebody actually has told me that it is going to be more effective to count it off of the current load, uh, the current credit count, rather than doing it off of the maximum credit count. It'll be uh, more effective and it'll more than likely keep you from crashing your bath early. So that's what I've done is I've, I've allowed it to calculate both at the same time. So on the tank diameter calculation, it's a basic pi r squared and it, it calculates for ounces and then it converts it over into pints. So at this one here, we're going to look at each one of these items. When you click on it, it updates this section to the right. So for a 4-inch deep uh, graduation, so we can change graduations here. Uh, for 4 inches, we're looking at 11.7 pints. And we're looking at 4,216 credits and 175 square inches of max load. But 140 when we're down to 80%. So that's something that I just kept uh, in mind that... If you're putting parts in there that we're going to exceed the max load at 80%. It also calculates about how much you're going to need per replenishment at 20%. Now this is all, nobody really puts in just the uh, unmixed portions. They usually will pre-mix a container. Uh, this just gives you what would be in it. Uh, we'll get into the actual calculations on the, the other ones later. It does it on its own. So if you wanted to look and see that right now we're only looking at 175, but we're only looking at 140 for this. We may need more so we can just keep looking at how much more we can get per inch uh, or a quarter inch at this point. And so we realize that we, we only need, say, 5 inches in order to do 175 square inch load. We can calculate how much we're going to need just by clicking the Calculate Initial Mixture, which then fills in this. We know we're going to need around 11.7 ounces of A, 35.1 of B, and 187 of the water. So that should give us a 14.6391 pints, which will then fill the container up to 5 inches. Uh, now, from this point, we know that we're going to need, uh, or we're going to have 5,270 credits. So we're going to set this as the current tank credits. If you look over here, we now have 5,270 as the full tank credit amount, and here's our, our current credit amount. So right now, if we were going to do a 20% fill, in other words, if the current was down to 20% load uh, of uh, loss, we, were, we would be able to put in 4.39 ounces of fluid to get back up to 100%. So it calculates that automatically for you. Now the great part about this is we can track parts separately. For my purposes, I do firearms. So if I want to add a part to the bath, I'm going to add a 1911 slide. And we know that a 1911 is 45.5 square inches on average. We're looking to make it a, uh, a generic, fairly, is a, just a standard thickness for firearms, is the 30-minute uh, the dip. 
And right now we have no current thickness. There's nothing on it, so we're going to leave that blank. Well, we're going to add that to the list of items we're going to plate. Now we're going to add a 1911 frame. And that's right around 58 square inches. And that as well is going to go to a point zero zero five zero. We're going to add a miscellaneous basket, which is all the miscellaneous parts for the 1911 screws, uh, hammer, uh, mainspring housing, all the little small parts that uh, wouldn't be done um, individually. And we know that that's going to take up about 15 square inches. And again, they're all going to get the point zero zero five zero. And we've also got another item. We've got a Mauser bolt we want to put in there as well. And we know that it's right around 28 square inches. But we want to put this one a little bit there. We don't want it to be a full thickness, but we want it to be a little more than normal. Um, say if there's some reason we want to build it up a little bit thicker. And then we've also got a decorative slide from another 1911. And we'll say nickel 1911 slide. So let's say it's already got some nickel plating on it or it's been dipped before. And it, it also is the 45.5 inches. Now this time we're going to say that we want it to be at this thickness and we know that it is about half that. So we're going to say the current thickness is this much. Now you notice that this slide is only got a 15 minute time versus the original slide had 30 because it takes into account that you've already got a current thickness on the slide. So now we're ready to start dipping our items. And it's very easy. With your batches, you don't want to dip everything all at the same time uh, if your bath can't get back up the temperature very easily. So we want to add them at different times, but in order to add them at different times, we want to out the track each one independently. And if you're not exact on everything, then you're going to get further and further off from the original numbers, which is why you can only replenish it so many times. So in our case, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the 1911 slide on the first one. So we look at how that's calculating. It's actually calculating the current thickness. So as soon as you dip the part in, it's calculating based off of the current, uh, what's called credits per second. And it's going to calculate the, the approximate thickness based on how long it's been in the tank. So if you look on the right, you'll see that we have a current load of 200, or sorry, 45.5 uh, square inches of current load, which is the single part. And at this time, we're, we dropped it in the bath, and we're waiting for the bath to come back up the temperature and restabilize again. And we're saying that you know we have we can have a 218.5 square inches in it at this point in time based off of the current credit count. As you see, it's going down little by little, approximately you know, right around 7.758 uh, credits per second. So this leaves us with you know this many credits here, and it calculates the maximum load based off of that. Now you know let's say the bath gets back up the temperature now. Now we're going to put the frame in, and we start the frame. Now you'll see that our square inch load has gone up and it shows we've only got 113 left. So we know that we can only put 113 square inches of object into the tank before we get to the point of uh, getting close to taxing it. And you see that our credits per second has gone up as well. If you look up here at the, the replenishment, we're seeing that it's counting down as well. It says now we've only got nine minutes until we have to replenish the bath, and that's at the point where it's going to get to the 20% loss. So that's when we're going to have, have to put in that 4.39 ounces. As we go along, we're going to go ahead and drop in the miscellaneous parts, and we're going to put the Mauser bolt in. And now we're looking at, we've got 68 square inches of capability left. We could put the, the other slide in there if we wanted to, if we had the room for it. Uh, if you don't, then just go ahead and, you know, you don't have to leave it in at that point in time. We can leave it out. Um, and because we can track each one independently, if we have to pull an item out, say that uh, there's just not enough room, uh, the the Mauser bolt just can't be in there right now. It seems like it's you know just taking up too much room. It's you know things are kind of crowded. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out, but we don't want to to not count the time that it was in. If it had been in longer for a minute, we really want to keep track of it. If we hit stop on this, it's gonna take that amount and it's gonna save it like it is. It just leaves it right where it's at. Uh, nothing has changed. We still have at this point. We've got the. Um, small fractional amount on the slide and when we pick back up again we don't want to have to replay it for that one minute we'll still already have the item ready to go and so if we needed to we could put in the other slide in its place and so again we can see that we have the square inch load minus the current and leaves us with what we've got left uh, to put in there so it's very quick uh, if you look right up here now we're down to five minutes because of a current load we've got a, a pretty good load on it 
we've got five minutes left until we need to replenish. So we're watching this thing slowly counting up. And right now it's, it's clipping along. If we wanted to go ahead and fill it now, let's say we want to put in 1.5 ounces to get it back up to 20%, rather than wait until we get to the 20% mark of loss. So we're, we, don't, we don't want to lose uh, or risk crashing our bath just in case we get too low. So we want to go ahead and keep it a little bit higher. We will go ahead and hit replenish up here. Um, and we'll say that we want to go to 1.75 ounces of replenishment because it'll be there pretty quickly. So we fill in a custom amount, 1.75 ounces. That's gonna show that we're gonna have 420 credits going into the bath. When we add it, it's gonna verify, yes, that's what we're gonna add, and there we go. We're back up to an almost full bath again, and we're back up to having six minutes left until we have to replenish the bath again. So I'm looking for some feedback on this. Um, if you need to download it, then uh, I have a link in the comment section to download from my website. If you have any problems getting it running, just send me an email and hopefully I can help you out. Thanks.